So welcome to episode 31. This is going to be titled the general maintenance episode. I'm doing a new intake, new timing chain, new fuel injectors, new spark plugs, new coils, water pump, um, other odds and ends that I might find when I'm in there. Um, that's an engine bay back here in the rear axle. I'm doing a new sway bar from Summit Racing. So one inch sway bar, uh, a new emergency brake hardware. Mine was pretty rusty. A uh, new national uh, bearing saver bearings. They have the seals right in them. New pads, new rotors, new KYB shocks. And obviously new lube for the rear end. Um, I think that's about it so I'm not expecting this to be a super long episode I'm sure I missed a few things off my list but I just figure I'd do an episode on this this most of stuff is just like other than like the sway bar and stuff it's just things that need to be done to a worn out police car oh yeah I'm hoping to change my new get a new seal for the windshield this one from LMC, especially when it's cold, leaks like a sieve right here. So, hope to change that out too. So yeah, engine's almost tore down. Just gotta get the timing chain off it. Try to get some shots of that when I get all the way tore down. Took the hood off just to make it easier to work on. So that's where I'm at. She's looking sad, but she should run better and be that much more reliable so the rear axle rear ends all put back together that should be ready to go and I'm just starting to put the engine back together up here that's a new oil pump I heard some debate whether or not you should do an oil pump but I figured I was that close next to get the timing chains on and start putting them back together that is my redneck cam uh, fixing tool to keep the cam from rotating her debate on whether you actually had to have that or not so I just made one up really quick and yeah it looks like a mess but should go back together all right hopefully and this is my all my parts over here on the job cart so yeah just a quick update Slowly but surely, I've been just kind of picking at this when I have a chance. A lot of other things going on. Yep, here we go. Just finished changing the oil. Thought that would be a good idea since I had the engine all cracked open. Looks like I put it together correctly. Wasn't too bad. Still need to put the hood on. I want to change the windshield seal. I got a new one from Steel Rubber Products and fix the door armrests. I'll show you what I'm working on there. And for a rundown, what I changed under the hood. This is pretty much everything. And I didn't do any how to videos because. There are already quite a few good how-to videos for the stuff I changed on YouTube. And those videos are done with people with more editing skills than I have. So they're more enjoyable to watch. That's pretty much it. I had to change this because I broke it. I didn't clean lube on the O-ring. and So it bound on the side and then I broke the ear off. So that was my fault. Then some of this stuff, this probably wasn't that bad, but... 5,000 idle hours on this engine, so 
when in doubt I went ahead and changed it. So let's take a look at those armrests. So this is the slot where the armrest is supposed to go. Now this was not a custom cab so it did not have these slots but I contacted some people that had custom cabs and they gave me the size of the slot so I put those in. And then I bought, these are the armrests I got from LMC. Happy with the quality on those, they're not fantastic but they work great for this. And then LMC sells you this to put the armrest on. Well. I haven't had any luck being able to put these on to where these didn't pop out. Not so much normal use, but like if you lean on it to reach the window crank on the other side or push yourself over or whatever, they just pop out. So I made these where I work, just a block of aluminum, and then I've milled this on the front, and this will replicate this... Uh, block here you switch hands so this will go up in and go in like that and hopefully it'll stop popping out every time you lean on it or push on it so that's what I got going on with the armrest so hopefully that solves that problem that's the thing with these trucks is they're never really done and it's little stuff like that wait a minute that's oh yeah i moved the truck it's over here now so just pop the windshield out like i said we're going to replace the seal and that's the last project for this winter which is good because now it's spring and once i got the old windshield out i took a look at the seal and i've already discarded it it's down by the road but it's kind of obvious why it's leaking because the groove for the glass was way wider than it needed to be the new seal is just like a slit so the steel rubber products should work a lot better it's frustrating cutting up a seal that you just put in less than 12 months ago but it's more frustrating when it leaks so hopefully we can get this back in tomorrow night i'm hoping if we don't have nothing going but well, i think i'm ready to go for a windshield install just got to get some helpers got my Seal on. I've got the stainless trim on. And then I've got my rope positioned. So I just need to get my soapy water. And hopefully it slides in okay. I don't know why. This isn't that hard of a thing to do. I just, I don't know. I don't like handling the windshield. I'm going to break it. Oh, that's all part of it. Well, the windshield's all back in. I've got plates and insurance back on it for the summer so I can start to enjoy it while I'm in lockdown and can't really go anywhere. Oh well, we'll see how the seal works next time we get caught driving in the rain. This is why I built it, to enjoy it. And it's awesome to drive. episode 31 the general maintenance and i hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching